Hey everyone, thanks for joining this video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to diagnose an iMac that is currently having some power issues. So this particular iMac, it will not turn on. You put it in the power cable, you push the power button and nothing will happen. So we need to figure out whether it's the logic board or the actual power supply. So the first thing that we're going to do is actually remove the RAM door, which we have done so far. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the glass. Just take a suction cup, stick it to the glass, and the glass will pop right off for us. And we can just remove it and get it out of the way. Now that we have the glass all removed, the next thing that we need to do is actually remove the aluminum bezel around the frame. So you have a total of 12 screws. Once we remove the 12 screws all the way around the bezel, we can slide that frame off. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those screws and then we'll jump right back at it. So once you've removed the screws from the side, there's gonna be 12 total. You have, use a torque gate, take them all out, all the way around. Next thing we'll wanna do is go ahead and remove the aluminum bezel. You can just slide it like so. Make sure you would disconnect the camera. And then you can go ahead and remove the aluminum bezel as well. The next thing that we need to do is actually remove this LCD. So the LCD is going to have a total of eight screws. It's going to have four on each side. Use the same torque wrench to go ahead and take those bad boys out. I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and then we'll jump right back into it. Okay, now that we've gone ahead and we've removed these screws, the next step would be actually removing the LCD. The, the only last thing that you want to take care of before you even start to rotate in you're going to want to take out the, the two T6 screws right on that actual plug right there that has the black tape on it. In addition to that, where you would deroute a cable that comes down from the LCD right to the actual left hand side over by this fan. You can see right where I had derouted, it's kind of hanging a little bit loose right there. Once you actually have those two things unplugged, then you can begin to lift back the LCD panel. The one thing that I would highly suggest you guys do is when you remove this LCD and you lean it back, there will be four cables. Go ahead and I had already done this just to save us some time. Mark the cables with a marker or a piece of tape so you know which ones to plug in because they actually have identical wire colors. So now that we've removed the LCD, the bezel, the glass, you can see we have access to everything that we need. So if we wanted to, we would use the same exact procedure in order to get to the hard drive. If we were doing a hard drive replacement, if we were actually doing an optical drive replacement. And now we need to check this power supply, which is in the up, upper left. And we all need, also need to check out this logic board. So I'm going to go ahead and inspect those and see what I can find, and then I'll jump back with you guys in a minute. Okay, so I went ahead and I inspected this iMac, took off the power supply, and on this one, as you can see, if I can get in here close enough, you can see that that actual capacitor on that left side is burned. So as you can see, that capacitor is blown. I also saw something on the logic board that I'm very concerned with. You can kind of see it right here. A pretty good shot of it, actually. Let's see if my camera can focus. As you can see right in that area right above the screw, there are some significant burns to this board right there. 
This is really leading me to believe that the logic board and the power supply are both going to be bad. Whenever I've seen logic boards with burns that bad, we've never been able to fix them or correct them without replacing the logic board itself. So on this particular teardown, this unfortunate customer has a blown logic board and a bad power supply. Another way you can check just the power supply is on other late models of IMAX. There are actually LED indicators that are right down here in the corner. And if you actually tear down the LCD, get to this point, you can actually plug the machine in, always being careful you're not going to electrocute yourself, and there would be four LEDs that have a particular sequence of lights that can tell you if the logic board is getting power and if the rest of the computer are getting power. This particular model does not have that, so we had to actually remove the power supply for a physical inspection, and that's where we had seen the uh, bad capacitor being blown. And we could also see those burns on the logic board. So I'll go ahead and I'll put this machine back together for our customer, let them know the news, and I will quote out the price to them. Thanks for watching this video guys. This is basically how we tear down an iMac and how we can diagnose power problems and bad burns to the logic board. I'll make other tutorial videos. Please like it, share it. Let me know if there's anything else you guys would like us to make a tutorial of and we'll see you guys next time.